I say hi and welcome to my YouTube channel and happy uh, 2nd of December. Yeah, I'm recording this uh, on the 1st of December, so I have the video ready for the 2nd, so that means I don't have to record videos on Christmas Eve. So uh, yeah, that means I also have the ability to share these videos uh, in a proper order. However, there is a disclaimer. If you have bought this Christmas package uh, solution from Want to Sell Retro, um, do not watch this until you open your own 2nd of December, or if you even want to watch this. Because um, I am not sure if you are getting the same game as I am, or vice versa. Um, so I'm not going to do uh, ruin the surprise for for you if you didn't see the the first of december uh, it's a bit longer than this video um feel free to go back and watch the first of december uh, video where i go more in depth uh, of why i bought this uh, christmas calendar so i am gonna open the um, second of december and oh yeah i don't don't forget to I made uh, these, um, and this is also the website where you can buy uh, retro games, plus you can buy this Christmas uh, calendar. I think you still have a few left, so if you want one, uh, you have to be quick. I do think he ships to out, uh, outside Denmark as well, I'm not sure, but go in there and watch, because I think he also ships to uh, other s countries. So. One thing is, for, as I said, uh, this is one I got from my first December. I am not going to show every single one uh, every time, but as I said, I am storing my um, collection in these uh, plastic sleeves, mainly to somewhat protect the, protect the game, plus they take up less space. Um, so. I'm going to put one of these notes, uh, one of these, uh, in each of my um, plastic sleeves so I can see, oh, I got that from Want to Sell Retro as a Christmas calendar uh, from Want to Sell Retro. I will leave the, the link in the description as well. So let's get into this. Um, again, big thumbs up for the packing. In, uh, the packing. Um, I can't go through uh, go through my mind that how long time it's gonna it had taken you doing all these packages. However, I do think that you might have had help with it. Uh, I did see some of your auctions where you have more people. Okay, this is a weird one. That's gonna be interesting seeing this one be opened. Uh, so I got the volume 62 of the bullet power games and this one is uh, Destruction Derby. Two things. Oh, that was NASCAR. Uh, I th for a second I thought, because this is the main game Destruction Derby, but, but uh, when I re read underneath uh, the first one, there's, it's NASCAR, not Destruction Derby. So there's Word Rescue, RSA Dart, Blocks and Monster Bash. And then the main game, I guess, is Destruction Derby. Even though I I really want to make uh, more out of these videos with more video footage, for example, from each of the game, um, to be honest, it would take too much time. Uh, plus, uh, I haven't fiddled with DOSBox for, for ages. Uh, however, I am a bit worried about this front cover. Uh, I don't want to ruin it. Uh, that's a bit sad, to be honest. Uh, but uh, that's okay, that's okay. I'm going to put it in a book or something. Maybe I take my ir ironing, my wife's uh, ironing, uh, and then steam it a bit so I get these wrinkles out but as I said 
Don't throw these in normal garbage, put them in the plastic recycle. We have volume 62. So, as the 1st of December, again, I'm following my own process here. Um, however, these are also being uh, thrown in the plastic recycle. They, to, in my collection, they are taking too much space. So I have one of my plastic sleeves. And of course, if you want to buy these sleeves, I'm going to leave a link in the description as well. So let me put it as I did the other one or the, all the other ones I have. Um, the reason why I'm putting it in this is so I can expand my collection with a lot more and they take up less space. Um, however, I do want to keep the artwork disc and uh, covers and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe it's enough for it to just be in this uh, box or packaging so it will fold itself out maybe. And for the last one, don't forget I'm going to put this one in as well. But I think I might need to put this in a book or something for a few days to to straighten out. Um, I do want to say Destruction Derby was one of the few games I actually played a lot when I was young as well. Um, I didn't put much into it. I just loved the, the way you were driving around, smashing every other car. Um, I didn't go much into whatever uh, the mission was, but some some games I won, some games I lost. But mainly I love the game uh, for the just the driving part of it. Um, later on I went into Need for Speed and uh, I, I think there's an o there is also the way older Gale called California games where you bought old game, old, old cars, you put it, fix them or and then you drag race or you raced about m with money and stuff like that. Or pink slip, as it says. Uh, I remember. But mainly a Destruction Derby, yeah. That's definitely one of those that was in my childhood. Um, one thing I do hope this is not, uh, that it, this is it's just demo, demos, but, but nonetheless, uh, I do have some what's in, the, in my uh, collection now. So, yeah. One thing I just noticed on the back, it is shareware version. So I'm guessing this is not the full game. However, so yeah. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna figure it out once I install the game, if it's the full one or it's just as it says at the back, shareware. But uh, it doesn't matter. I remember these packets from when I was uh, young, so always nice to have it in my collection so once again thank you for the 2nd of December and um, I will see you tomorrow <laughs>